I'm, I totally messed that up. We're we going to try that again. What's good, kings and queens? So, as you can see, I got my babies in the car. It's about 11.37, and I went and picked them up. Time for weekend family fun. Yes, what's, what's up? Whatever y'all doing with them gummies, just make sure you take your trash when you exit the vehicle, okay? Thank you. So, for those of y'all just tuning in for the first time, like, share, and subscribe. For those of you who are returning, uh, in the previous video, I mentioned that I had a surprise for my baby girl, Tomasa. Say hi, Tomasa. Hi. Can't see her face. But, anyway, so the surprise is... I decided to do a cooking show with you. Cooking with Tomasa is what we're gonna call it. So one day a week, when you come over, I'm gonna teach you how to cook something. But it's gonna be you doing all the work. I'm just gonna tell you what to do. I'm gonna show you how to read the recipes. And if it's not a recipe that we're using, I'm just gonna tell you what to do step by step. I thought that would be wonderful for you. She's smiling and coughing, you guys can't see her coughing. She's smiling and clapping, but you guys can't see her because of the position of the phone. Um, so yeah, today is gonna be the first show later on once we get off of this road. Let me just say to you guys, please be safe. It's raining cats and dogs out here where I am. Um, and there's a lot of crazy people out there that don't seem to care, don't mind do all kinds of silly stuff. Please be careful, protect you and your loved ones as you're traveling to and from your spaces. Um, yeah, we're gonna check back in with you guys as soon as we get in the house and settle. I gotta go home and cook and clean and, um, you know, start this thing called life. Today, deuces. What's good, y'all? It's about one, and we're experiencing a blackout over here, so we ain't got no power. Hopefully, they get it together. I just called the girl. Want to say hi? Say hi, baby. You know? Want to say hi? Yeah? Yeah, I just called the, um, what do you call that, Edison? To see what's going on with my power. Uh, as usual, got to wait a few hours or more, so hopefully they get it back up because... I got a full house over here, and I can't even use my stove, so I'm trying to figure out what we gonna do, and I hope all my food don't go bad, but, um, we'll check back in with you guys as we vlog <laughs> with no electricity over here. What's good, good people? I'm back. It's about 9.22, and I actually just got through doing a, a trip with DoorDash. I want to say I started at probably around Mm, maybe 5 36 o'clock mm -hmm. and i dropped off my last order at probably like around 8 45 um i did pretty good but um you know it's super super bowl sunday so we're gonna see what we can do tomorrow actually no tomorrow is super bowl sunday today is the day before super bowl so um I'm pretty sure that's why it was super busy where I am. On top of the fact that we're experiencing a major blackout over here. So, I mean, ain't nobody got no power um, on my whole block, which is kind of what prompted me to get out in the first place. And just like that, I got a new order. So, I'm going to check back in with y'all later. Deuces! Hey, y'all. I'm back. So, I'm home. It is... What time is it? It is 10.30, I can finally relax. So, as I was saying earlier, I actually went door dashing. And I had planned on doing door dashing originally, but I didn't know what time. It's Super Bowl weekend, so I knew it was gonna be super busy and I wanted to take advantage of any extra peak hour earnings and all of that good stuff. So, I wanna say I started dashing at like 5.45 and then I stopped at like 8.55. And then I started back up again at 9.15 and then I ended at 10. So um, my earnings for those four hours, I think it came out for the first session, it was about $60 and some change. And then I got some cash tips. 
So it was about $70. And then for the last little 45 minutes, I actually only ended up getting one delivery, which came out to be $6.92. But you know what? When I added it all up, um, that ended up being about, I want to say $19 an hour for the four hours. Um, now, I did end up spending $20 on gas, but I think that was a pretty good night um, for me. So, I'm definitely going to get back out there again and let y'all know what I come up with. Um, so, yeah, I'll be checking back in with y'all tomorrow. We're getting ready to go to sleep. As you can see, everybody is kind of just chilling, relaxing, watching TV. When I tell you we were all freaking out because, oh my God, it was a blackout in the whole doggone neighborhood. And the blackout started at like 12.30. So if you can imagine from 12.30 to probably around 9 o'clock at night, we had no lights, no power. So I couldn't cook no dinner. I couldn't warm up nothing. It was just a disaster. So... It worked out pretty well. As soon as I was done with my dashing, I filled up my gas tank. We came home. I was expecting the lights to still be out, and they were actually on. So I'm grateful for that. But you know what? I'm getting ready to get everybody settled, get myself settled. And, uh, yeah, we'll check back in with you guys tomorrow. So until then, y'all stay safe. What's good, so sisters and brothers? All right, so it's day three. It's actually Super Bowl Sunday. It's about 7 12. Um, I'm not sure if the game is still going or not at this point, but I actually just got back from driving with DoorDash. So, wanted to talk to y'all a little bit about that real quick as I wash my dishes so I can start dinner for me and my fam. So, pretty much. Okay, today I only drove two hours. I started at 4.46 and I ended my shift at 6.30. So I had four deliveries, uh, which were all fairly close in distance. I think the first delivery, um, the pickup was close, but the drop-off was about five miles, which is still not bad. And then the rest of the deliveries were all like three miles drop-off, three miles pickup. So it really wasn't that bad. Um, but all in all, for today, plus there was an extra peak bo bonus in my area of $3 per delivery. So initially when I closed out of my um, shift, I believe it said $27 um, for the two hours. But then because of the extra $3 per delivery, it ended up boosting it up. So by the end of the shift, I had $40. So adding the $40 plus the... Uh, 70 from the night before, um, and then the 10 from the night before on Friday. I only actually drove for one hour that day. It was pretty slow, and I actually ended my shift pretty quickly. Um, I was kind of nervous, to be perfectly honest. But, um, focus. Focus. Abracadabra. Focus, 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 focus. Okay, well, anyways, while that's doing what it's going to do, um, yeah, so all in all, for the whole weekend, so Super Bowl weekend, I ended up making 117 bucks. When I calculated it up, plus gas and everything, that ended up being around $16 an hour, which is still pretty good because working minimum wage where I am, working about seven hours, and I think the total for the whole weekend, I worked only seven hours. So working seven hours with minimum wage is like, what is that, about 80 bucks? So, I still ended up making about $30, $40 extra than what I would have made um, with minimum wage. So, so, for me, that's pretty good. So, that's my, um, that's my take on that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm sorry, I was distracted. But anyway, <laughs> that's pretty much it on that, y'all. So, uh, I'll be checking in with y'all tomorrow. Giving y'all some more tips and tricks, whatever I come up with, just to help y'all out in y'all daily lives. But until then, y'all stay safe, stay cool, stay blessed. If you're new to my channel, like, share, subscribe. If you're returning, thank you, and I'll see y'all another time. Deuces.